three. We're, We're Brazilian, Brazilian Wax. wax. We're just punk. Sometimes I call us Riot Girl because I really like Riot Girl, but we can just be regular old punk rock. But so. people do call us Riot Girl. Because mm -hmm. there's girls in the band and I scream some, but we just want to be punk. Basically, right? Menstrual fueled fury that'll rip your hair out. We played roller derby together, and, yeah. and I was like, Athena, when are we gonna like start a band? You know? Because I knew. <laughs> I knew she was like a rock and roll star. And I didn't play any instrument, but I was like, let's do this, let's get a band going. And yeah, and so our momentum and excitement, we just took over and we decided to do it. Pittsburgh has kind of a long, rich punk tradition. You know, I think that's where we kind of just like picking up a part of that torch and carrying it on right. in this different way. People sometimes may in pop culture think of being a musician as having a booking agent, having a producer, being signed, getting lots of money, but in the punk scene you don't wait around for someone to say, hey you're good at that, we like your voice, you, we like the way you look, hey can you dress this way, etc, etc. You just go out and say, I'm gonna book my own shows, I know this person who has a connection here, and oh, my friend in this band can hook me up with this person. We can play these, we can write our own songs, we don't have to play covers, we don't have to play anybody else's songs, we don't have to sing anyone else's songs. Yeah, book your shows, book your tours. You do everything. Yeah. And some people will help you all along the way if you put the work in. Yeah, there's a lot of great promoters around Pittsburgh that have given us so many shows, you know, and other yeah. bands, and it's really something special. There's a lot of guys playing music and we want to empower women to pick up instruments and be in a band too. I've been playing for years. I've been playing the drums since I was in college, but I wanted to front, be in the front more so because I'm an African-American female and you don't see a whole lot of that in the scene. I mean, it does exist, but it's rare. And so I just wanted to show Pittsburgh and wherever we tour to that, you know, a chubby black woman can also be front of the band too. Music is an empowering creative outlet. Yes. Right? Doing something that's your own, you're up on stage, it's, it has the potential to make you feel good, gain, give you that confidence. We had a female drummer, a friend of Jen's and mine, and some guy, a drummer in another band, said something really crappy to her about her drumming, and it really upset her, and so I was over it, and so I wrote Girls to the Front and basically an homage to Kathleen Hanna Bikini Kill and guys just saying, thinking they can say whatever to women to criticize them. I think that if more girls, teen girls and tween, I think if more heard that, that they would feel more empowered. I mean, you have your Taylor Swift, which I love Taylor Swift, don't get me wrong. But not everyone's gonna be Taylor Swift. I just they think don't have to be. They don't have to be, they can be themselves. Mm -hmm. So stop trying to be Taylor Swift, do it yourself, start your own band, call it. Mm -hmm. Brazilian wax or something <laughs> similar. Girls to the front! Girls to the front! Girls to the front! Girls to the front!